And of course, Salazar Slytherin was a parcel mouth, which means I'd watch your back if I would. I wouldn't let it slip to Potter that you were born non-magical. Let's go outside, Harry! Or you might end up like the Gryffindor house ghost. Looking forward to this, aren't you? Let's go in! Ow! Ah, Potter. Ready to continue our winning streak from last year. I'm certain we're good enough, but we're definitely going to have to practice a lot harder. No time like the present, so let's have a run through of the basics. It adds to your broom's magical charge and increases its speed. Likewise, missing a ring decreases the charge. Great going, Potter. Your broom's halfway charged. Keep it up. The room's now fully charged and you can boost. You can tell when you're ready to boost by the trail of sparks coming from your brain. These are bludgers, nasty pieces of work, as you remember from last year. You don't want to get hit by a blood job to avoid it. You're close enough to the snitch now, but you always have to boost to get into a position to catch it.
Great going, Potter. Now grab the snitch. Looks like you improved on last year, Potter. With this lineup, Gryffindor are a dead cert for the Quidditch Cup again. That'll really get up Snape's nose. As Hufflepuff are in training as well, they've agreed to take part in a practice game with us. You'll have to compete against their seeker now, but I'm sure that'll be no problem for you, Potter. Incredible flying, Potter. Even Madam Hooch would have to give you a good grade. Don't let Professor McGonagall find out, but here, take this broom and get in as much practice as you can. Hello there, Hermione. What's the matter? Malfoy showed up while you were practicing in the Quidditch Stadium. He's been made seeker after his dad brought his way onto the team with a whole set of Nimbus 2001s. Hermione said something about it and he called her a filthy mudblood. A what? A mudblood? It's a really disgusting name for someone who was born of non-magical parents. There are some wizards, like Malfoy's family, who think they're better than everyone else. Anyway, it's a horrible thing to say. If it hadn't been for Hagrid showing up, I'd have cursed him. He's not worth the trouble, Ron. Oh, I suppose you're right. Anyway, I'm tired and I'm off to bed. Let's go. The house point totals are being calculated. Slytherin. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Gryffindor. Slytherin is in the lead.
I think it might be a good idea to go to the library and find a copy of Hogwarts A History. Why do you want it? So we can find out about the legend of the Chamber of Secrets, of course. Of course. I suppose you want me to sneak out to the library again. Could you? Oh, thanks, Harry. The only thing is, you'll need to get into the restricted section this time. Go down to the second floor and into the library reading room. Sneak through there and you'll see a door with the golden arch. Go through this door and into the reading room annex. At the end of the annex, there's a portrait that will let you into the restricted section. The password is Bibliophile. Right. Second floor, reading room, through door with golden arch, and into annex. Through portrait. Got it. Thanks, Harry. Uh, and watch out for the prefect. I'm sure there's some... Bibliophile.
Hedwig! <laughs> 